Slovak Prime Minister Robert Fico was critically wounded in a shooting incident on Wednesday, sending shockwaves across the nation and beyond. The attack occurred as Fico emerged from a government meeting in Handlover, about 90 miles northeast of Bratislava. The 59-year-old leader was shot multiple times and suffered life-threatening injuries, prompting urgent medical attention. The suspect, a 71-year-old man, was swiftly apprehended at the scene, and authorities indicated a clear political motive behind the assassination attempt. While Fico underwent surgery for his abdominal wounds, Deputy Speaker of Parliament Lubos Blaha condemned the incident, blaming what he termed as the liberal media and opposition for fostering a hostile environment. Fico's political background adds complexity to the situation. He has been a dominant figure in Slovak politics, serving a record tenure as prime minister. His pro-Russian stance and controversial policies have polarized opinions both domestically and internationally. His return to power in 2021 raised concerns among EU members about Slovakia's alignment with Western values. The shooting has prompted calls for restraint from politicians, with Slovakia's biggest opposition party, Progressive Slovakia, cancelling a planned protest against government reforms. As investigations continue, questions linger about the assailant's motives and the potential implications for Slovak politics. The incident underscores the fragility of political discourse and the challenges facing leaders in maintaining stability amidst heightened tensions. With FICO's condition described as extraordinarily serious, the nation awaits further developments, hoping for a swift recovery while grappling with the aftermath of this tragic event.